beautiful person that I think that I've ever seen. She has come, touched all of us, and brought us together, and did a little magic. I miss her little sounds of her breathing. And, and we are all going to miss Shaji. A friend who's who I like never questioned my respect for. Just like always knew that she would just maintain such an incredible disposition with me and the people that she has like interacted with. It's just like you met her and immediately you knew that you were associating with an incredible person. She brought me a new family. Um, I have a huge extended family that's just filled with love and uh, from her blood, to my blood, to her friends, to my friends. It's like all one big family now and that's because of her. We had the kind of relationship where I could be doing nothing around town, I could be hanging out with anyone. If it didn't feel worthwhile, it didn't feel like there was a point to it, I could just go by their house and take it for a few. And that gave like purpose to my entire day. She was the type of girl you could basically uh, talk to about anything, you know? Um, what you what you were talking between her would stay between that, you know. She wasn't a gossiper. She's down, real down to earth woman. Really, somebody that everyone could talk to about their problems, like whatever it was. That was like all she really wanted. Like feeling like she, like she was becoming that person, and that's what she wanted to be. She wanted to be able to be there for people. She was really like starting to show how excited she was for life, just in general. She was so excited to, you know, explore her interests and like take up endeavors and just set dreams and goals for herself and then would listen to mine or hear what I had to say and just like had nothing but encouragement. She could completely disapprove of something you were doing, but it wouldn't really affect the way she felt about you. And I know she disapproved of a lot of the things that I did, but um, it kind of kept me on track, I feel like. Yeah, it is. Judge spent a lot of her own time doing treatments and working really hard for breathing. It's like having a pneumonia every day of your life. You can't change it with one hand. What? You can't go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! You forgot about it. That's good. That's a good sign. You can forget about it. Jaji was probably more than a friend to me because whenever I was with her, it was just calming, you know? And she, it felt like she would fill my soul in a way. She always really wanted to have people see her as her and this like live being than what of her disease. She never wanted people to pity her at all. You just look in the eyes of her family and her friends and that's her still. And every day that she's, ever since the day she died a month ago today, it's been just as beautiful as it is right now. That's her, like in the breeze and everywhere. We would like go and play this picture drawing game where you would draw a line and then the other person would try to make a picture out of it and she would all doesn't matter how crazy the line I made she would always make a great picture out of it I always lost and she would have such a good time playing that she had a really good laugh like she laughed more than anybody else I know and she didn't mind it like um, I didn't get it at first and I think just like recently I started getting it like she could just sit there in the middle of a whole bunch of people and not mind if she didn't say anything because she appreciated what everybody said so much that she could just sit there and laugh and like be like, oh, I love these people, this is so funny. And I'd be like, so laughing. And then I kind of got it, like, oh, this is cool. We can sit here and laugh right on. <laughs> When we were shooting Brace of Brothers, the scene Jaji was in was on this nude beach, and every time Jaji tried to say her lines, there'd be this nude guy off on the other end of the beach, and she would just kind of like stare at this guy and be totally distracted, and like sometimes just laugh, and we're like, Jaji, you really need to pay attention. Stop staring at this naked guy, and pay attention to your lines. And she'd kind of look at me and be like, Jordan, he's naked. I love the naked guy. 
I, he's naked. <laughs> he's naked. Wait, what's my one? Jaji was the kind of spontaneous person. You know, like she's, like you go over to your house and be like, what do you want to do? And she'd be like, okay, let's just go do this. Or like, let's just go do that randomly. And then you'd call her. And Jaji was the, most, the worst person to ever call you back in the universe. And I think we've all learned that. It's just like a known fact. You call Jaji and you must call again or else you'll never hear from her. Little, she'd have her little like baby voice that she always used, like, um, can you please get me this? I don't, you know, you don't have to, but if you could, that'd be really nice. And that, you know, I'd get it for her, and she'd be like, thank you so much. And she was always so appreciative of everything. Uh, she's a really good dancer. I like her dancing. She inspired me a lot to keep on dancing too. A lot of moves. Johnny was the kind of girl that when she danced, you could tell that she had a passion for it. And when she didn't, it wasn't just someone signing up for class. It was, she was there for like pure, the joy of dancing. We would always make up a dance. And we, we, me and Barbara and Maya still like memorized a dance. And it was, to like the stupidest songs like Backstreet Boys and everything but I don't know that's like one of my best memories. She looked so beautiful. I think she died at, at the peak of her life when she was shining the most where her beauty was just so. Take me with you. <laughs> don't even say battle. <laughs> You're weak. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> she just she filled me with warmth and love and it was just amazing to have known her. And I remember like one day I was really sad and she was there for me and she was the most comforting person. She cried on. She taught everyone about perspective and um, what really matters and when things really matter and what things you should just kind of let go and just move on. And um, I think that's what her life message was. She was given five to ten years at birth and she lived 18. And that's because she took responsibility to do her treatments and and to to fight for life, and she fought. Anyone who dies or anything, I think it just makes you realize how much you just have to live your life to the fullest you can every day, and just not wait. Because if you wait, your life will just pass you by. And she didn't, she didn't wait. That influence on me just gives me such a drive to explore anything that I want and just live in like the fact that her deadline was so much earlier than, earlier than mine. Just, it's all the more motivation. It's all just like constantly in the back of my mind with anything that I take up. Like even if I'm not consciously saying it to myself, like it's gonna be like, this is for Zhaoji to a point. This is for her. Now it's hard to believe that we've reached the end of this tunnel and seen the light, but I'm excited to enter the next one.